of sheer terror at what he had just witnessed, no man can resist the mysterious and majestic beauty of the Poonani. Dinner at the garden. I will send for you, Maria. Hmm, what's that? Don't even think about canceling. <laughs> I cannot believe that you did that to your best friend. I mean, he probably wanted to kill you. Oh, he did. <laughs> Vincent hates it when you mess with his hair, let alone shave it. But enough about him. <laughs> what did you call this again? Carne con salsa de tamarindo. It's the best one I ever had. What'd I tell you? Oh, my God. All right? Why do you speak such good English? Well, I was born here in Colombia, but I was educated in the States. I actually spent most of my life in New York City. But I got pretty homesick, so I decided to come back to be with my father. That's, that's really sweet. I like you, Craig. I really like you too, Maria. And I am honored that a woman as beautiful as you would want to have a, a dinner like this with me. But I'm a little concerned about your father and some of his men. Uh, have you seen what goes on here? It's not always that pretty. Listen, my father gives these men opportunities that they would have never received anywhere else in this country. He gives them a chance at a good life, you know? Pretty sure I saw a man ripped in half today. They're not all as appreciative as they should be. It's sad. I weep for them. I just want you to know that I respect your father. I, I mean, I, I, I respect him a lot. Esta noche, Pablo le preparó un postre muy especial. Gracias. Yeah, it doesn't sound as nice when he says it. <laughs> Maria and Kurt had grown quite fond of one another, but when you're the daughter of the world's most notorious drug lord, nothing remains a secret for long. Maria! Luis! You should have told me you were going to leave the ground, especially in front of our new employee. Luis, always al comedante. No puedes hacer esto en frente de la gente. Kurt, this is one of my father's men, Luis Diego. Yep, we had the pleasure of meeting him. Yeah. He showed me his night collection. We need to talk to Senor Kurt. Talk to him. Not here, in private. You can talk to him here, in front of me and everybody else. You know, it's okay. Are you sure? I'll be fine. Hey. Ah! Okay. I got this! Maria. Maria! Kurt! Look, I, uh... Hey, we're going horseback riding. You gonna join us? Horses? No, no. Uh... Absolutely not. Uh, look, there's, a, there's been a problem. I, uh, I just saw your, your father and Felix Santos. They, they got into an argument. I'm pretty sure Diego's on his way to, to kill Santos and his men. Did you not just hear what I said? Yeah, you were rambling on about Santos or something. Do you not like me anymore? I like you so much. I mean, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. It's just that these people, that they're killing each other on a daily basis. and. It's insane. You are so cute when you're nervous. Marie, you, you remember my, uh, my, my two friends I, I, I told you about? Uh, uh, Vincent and Christopher? Your gringos? Those, those gringos, they're the ones that have been going to the police and telling them about me being missing because I'm here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Diego is going to either kill them or the United States is going to send someone here to find me. Either way, it's going to end bad for us. And my father will handle them all. You are safe here. I don't want them handled. I, I want them alive. They're my friends. You don't need them anymore. You have a new family here. Now, let's go horseback riding. I, uh, yeah, I, I gotta go change. I, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to kill him, aren't I? Oh, Blanca. Probably. Maria! 
I just I need to talk to you just for a second. I mean, oh, holy shit, you look amazing. I love leather and Japanese animals. Oh, th that's um, that's the Mexican cartel. They killed Diego. We have to get out of here. I know. That's why I'm preparing to kill Santos myself. Wait, sit down, sit down. My friends are here. All right, you can come with us. You too. Or not. Your friends? Yep, Vincent and Christopher, they're alive. All right, come with us. I'll protect you. You dirty gringos. You think you can come here and take our business and our home? What? It's not like that at all. What? Amazing connection. You got a sick motherfucking mind, man. You come down here and fall in love with the biggest bitch down here. Just like back home. Just like back home. I do not think that this is the appropriate place or time to be talking about this. Do you? Shut the fuck up. Somebody's got a shooter. I love her. Make you just realize this bitch is trying to kill us. She's just a little confused. Well, then text the bitch then and tell her to quit fucking shooting at us. I don't even have her number. Chris. Yeah. You said you can throw a grenade like a baseball, right? Motherfucking satchel bag! I'm gonna throw it! A grenade! Yeah, hold this! Shut up, man. He won't hold a pin. Seriously? Sit. You're not gonna hurt her, right? I'm gonna bang the bitch in the grape and knock her the fuck out. Listen, I'm gonna create a diversion. You know what a diversion is? Yeah, that's what one motherfucker go do some crazy shit so this motherfucker can hit the bitch. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker. Yo, Maria's dead. Oh, I got that bitch's pussy in my pocket. I'm gonna fuck it later. Maria. Yeah. Yeah.